Hey everybody, it's Aiden here from Everyday Tech. So you want some smart lighting, but you want the hue, but you don't want to pay for the hue, I may have a solution for you. Okay guys, so before we get started, don't forget, subscribe to my channel, then you'll be notified anytime I do any tech news or tech reviews. So, you want some smart lighting, everybody wants Philips Hue, because it's a brand leader, why wouldn't you want it? But nobody wants to pay Philips Hue prices. I mean, granted they are good, but they are, are expensive. Nobody wants to pay that premium price but everybody wants the features. So your budget choice is your IKEA Trad Free. Great, it's a whole lot cheaper. It's not got all the features. The app's not so intuitive, but it gets the job done, mostly. My issue with both is, yeah, the IKEA one is fantastic in its price, but it is a bit buggy. The Philips Hue, is a lot better, but it is so goddamn expensive. So what are your compromises? My compromise is get both. I would say get a Philips Hue bridge, perhaps with a starter kit, with a couple of their colored bulbs or something like that. I picked one up myself, um, a starter kit with three white and color bulbs with a switch, I think it was £109 in the UK, which I thought was a bargain, really. The IKEA Tradfree starter kit was about £65, and that was with white bulbs. I think it was maybe just one bulb anyway. So when you add it up, it's actually not that much of a difference if you start adding coloured bulbs to the mix. Um, so if you're willing to wait and wait for a deal on the Philips Hue, get that one. And my suggestion would be, if you want to add bulbs, add the IKEA Trad Free bulbs to the Philips Hue system. Now, a lot of people will be saying, well, God, you, it's so difficult to do that. It's almost impossible because a lot of the people that have done videos have been like, oh yeah, well, you know, I've just tried to pair this IKEA Trad Free bulb to the IKEA, uh, sorry, the Philips Hue bridge and it's taken me like half an hour per bulb and I've got to try it like 50 times and it doesn't work and you have to have the bulb dead close to the bridge, you really don't. It doesn't have to be difficult. I actually have found a way to pair IKEA Trad Free bulbs to the Hue system without an IKEA gateway. So just the bulb on its own, just a plain IKEA bulb to a Philips Hue bridge. But I'll get onto that in a minute. The main reason for doing this is mixing the two is just purely cost. You will have the benefit of the software of the Philips system mixed with the affordable hardware of IKEA Tradfree. So in my house, I have some of the small GU10 bulbs, the little spotlights that go in your kitchen. Now I have eight of those and I think they cost about 56 pounds for eight, if I'm right, if I remember correctly, from IKEA. Now, if I was to buy two GU10 Philips Hue bulbs, just white ones, I'm looking about 30 to 40 pounds maybe for two. So the cost is quite a bit more, quite a lot more in fact, for this effectively the same bulbs. And again, people go, well, how do we get the GU10 bulbs to pair with the Philips Hue bridge? Because you have to have the bulb next to the bridge. Again, you don't. I have seen several things that say you do. I've managed to pair a bulb straight from the socket, um, the, the, the light source, straight to the Hue bridge. And it seems to work fine for me, so it should work fine for you. And the way I have done this, is when you have got your Philips Hue setup on, you just go to your settings and you go to light setup. And when you select add light, this is where you need to make sure everything's correct because you need to make sure obviously your IKEA bulb is at the latest firmware 
and it's not paired to anything else. So when you plug the bulb in the, the light switch, do your six toggles to make sure it's reset and then turn it, this is important, turn it off. With the Philips Hue lights, you turn them on for it to find them and it will automatically find them. That's fine for the Philips Hue, but with the IKEA Trad Free, I've found that this works best. Turn it off, go into your settings and your um, Philips Hue app and select light setup. Go into the top left hand corner and then select add light. When you selected that at the bottom, you can select the green button that says search. When you press this button, it will search for a light. After you've pressed this button, after maybe two or three seconds, turn the light on. I have found that the Philips Hue bridge will find the bulb almost instantly each and every time. I did this for every single one of my GU10 bulbs. And I did all eight. I stood in the kitchen. I had all eight bulbs in a row and I used one socket. I put one in, did my six toggles, searched for it, turned it on, it found it. I named it, I took it out, put it to one side. I put another one in, six toggles, search, turn it on, it found it, name it, take it out. It is actually a lot simpler than I'm probably making it sound. You just have to make sure it's the latest firmware on the lights. So the ones you buy now at Ikea are probably gonna be the latest ones anyway. It's probably if you are buying secondhand uh, lights that it may be, just maybe older firmware. And obviously in that case, you probably will need a trad free gateway to update it to the latest firmware. But honestly, you don't need to spend huge money to get the same effect. The IKEA lights are fantastic. I actually prefer the IKEA trad free switch to the Philips Hue one. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're both great, but this feels nicer. It feels better. Well, nicer, not nicely made actually. This is okay, it does its job, but this one's got, got a better power button. It's it's just a, I think it's just a nicer unit. So I use my GU10 bulbs and I've also managed to use their under cabinet lighting with a, I forgot what you call it, a, a driver, which also pairs to the Philips Hue system. Same process. I just used a pin to reset it, search for the light, plug it in. It found it. I renamed it under kitchen uh, kitchen cabinet light one and kitchen cabinet light two. And it, it, they all work and it's absolutely fantastic. The only downside is you can't use these remotes with the IKEA lighting. I don't think so anyway. I've not actually tried. Because I already had the IKEA lighting, I use the IKEA remote. When you have got all of your lights set up on your Philips Hue bridge, you will need to pair up a remote control and you will need a third party app, which you can download. Um, I forgot what it's called, I'll put the name up here. Um, and you can download it and basically what you do is you reset the remote control, you press and hold the reset button till a red light flashes on here. Um, and then you need to go into this third party app, you can go into add lights and search for device and it will find this switch. It will just start glowing and then I think it goes green and you found the switch. Once this is then paired, you can then pair this remote to all of the bulbs in your IKEA range that you want to control, up to 10. And to do that is the same process as any IKEA lighting. You just hold it within so many centimeters of the bulb until the light flashes, 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 goes back to normal, then it's paired. You move on to the next bulb, hold it close. Uh, sorry, you press the, uh, the reset button on the back, sorry. You press and hold until it flashes, flashes, flashes and goes out. You go to the next one, you press and hold, it flashes, flashes, flashes and goes out. And when you've done up to 10 lights, this remote will control them. 
But just remember, when you have done it, each time you have paired an IKEA board with a Philips Hue, close the apps and restart them again. I did find that that did help with me pairing up the, the light, uh, well, each light bulb to the Philips Hue app. I found one, I named it, I put it in a group as I was going along, I closed the app. I reopen the app, obviously I do my reset the bulb, turn it off, search for the light, wait a couple of seconds, turn it on, it finds it, name it, save it, shut the app down. Get your next bulb. So you get the picture. It is very, very simple. It doesn't have to be difficult. You don't have to spend 20 minutes per bulb trying to find it. There are many easier ways. And you don't even need this. If you have got a lamp that you just want to control with your voice, then just get the bulb. It's, that's all you need. Um, it really doesn't need much at all. It's just because I've got IKEA GU10 spotlights that I think, well, I, I wanna save myself a couple of hundred pounds and use the IKEA ones rather than getting the Philips ones. Because again, the Philips Hue, don't do the kitchen cabinet lighting. Obviously they do their LED strips which are ridiculously expensive. Where the IKEA LEDs, you just need, you can buy whichever size you like, you just need the driver which connects to the Philips Hue app. And you can plug in up to four, five, six, I don't know how many it is. Or, you know, you, you get different size drivers that you can plug them into and you can have multiple cabinet lights all controlled with your voice. So my suggestion to you is don't think, shall I go Philips? Shall I go Tradfree? Get both. They work fantastically. And once they're all working together, just get Alexa to find them. Granted, it's not perfect because the IKEA kitchen lights have been discovered twice in my Alexa app, but they, the ones that I have saved, the, the saved as kitchen lights and as spotlights, but I know spotlights is the latest one, so I use that one when I'm pairing them up in a routine or anything like that. So yeah, it's definitely something I can recommend. And before I forget, there is one thing, there's one massive benefit I have noticed by pairing these two items together. And that is in a previous video, I described the IKEA Trad Through Lighting as affordable, very good value, but buggy. You know, there were certain times when the certain lights were left on in the kitchen when I was using this switch. But since I have paired those same bulbs to the Philips Hue bridge, not once have I had the same buggy problems. So the issue isn't with the, the lights or the switch, it's probably with their gateway and their connection. Because honestly, not once have, have any of these lights been left on. Every single day that I use these, I turn them on, I turn them off. They all turn on, they all turn off. They don't, one doesn't stay on and one doesn't turn off when it shouldn't do or whatever like it did before, not once has it gone wrong. So that might be the saving grace for IKEA. Yeah, get their bulbs, but use it with Philips Hue. It just makes sense. Philips Hue have got better software. IKEA have better, not better, more affordable hardware. So pair them up, mix them up. Wait for deals, wait for sales, wait till things are on offer. IKEA's never on offer, so don't worry about that. And they're quite cheap anyway. But the Philips Hue, you go on Amazon, you can save 50, 60 pounds. So bear that in mind. So I'll leave you with this. What is your smart light setup? What do you use? Philips Hue, IKEA, Osram, LifeX? What is it? Let me know comment below tell me if you've had good experience bad experience share it with everybody and before i let you go don't forget like and subscribe to my channel 
you'll be notified anytime I do any tech news or tech reviews. See you soon.